the little stingers on the outside of the prickly pear. And I've already done these, but what I'm going to, I'll show you is you need a handy dandy tong, metal tong, not a wood tong, and you just, if you have a gas stove, you hold it over the gas stove and you'll see the little uh, prickly's burning off. And I wouldn't recommend doing this in a tiny house because it sends off little embers and burn the place down. After you're done with that, you take the uh, prickly pear and you put it onto a plate. And even though it's a, it seems like a waste of water, I keep some water running because I'm going to want to constantly be cleaning my tongs and my knife to make sure that I'm not bringing any of the little pricklies into the prickly pear. So the first thing I do is hold on to it with a tong, and I like a little serrated knife works best, and I cut off about a half inch on each end. And just hard that. Put my knife. Now I'm going to cut a slot across the of it, and using the tongs to hold it, I'm going to, without ever touching with my hand, I'm going to peel back that skin around the fruit, holding onto the fruit on the two sides that I've already cut the ends off, and just go around the whole piece. Plop the fruit into the bowl and the discard there. Again, rinse off my knife, rinse off my plate, and grab another one. The seeds of the prickly pear are kind of um, abundant, and uh, but they're small enough that you can eat them. Uh, they won't grow cactus plants in your gut, and they're actually very very good the fiber that they add to your diet. I like them on with yogurt with granola because the granola just kind of the seeds get lost in there.